Bird, good to hear from you again, my friend. Good to hear from you. And thank you so much for taking the great pleasure of allowing me to interview you today. My pleasure. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's going to be, it's going to be a treat to have one of the uh, founding members of Chicago to interview today. Now, that is a treat in itself. Thank you. Um, now, um, also, also um, I like to acknowledge that Chicago's record a new uh, studio track, um, Chicago 36, was released on uh, Frontier Records. It includes 11 brand new songs recorded on the road. Chicago has built a new recording system that is flexible, um, uh, power and musical. Uh, this new recording travels with the band. They have even created an online um, cl collaborator um, that allows even more um, performances to be worked on around the clock. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Well, you know, I think that one of the things that Chicago has learned and the individuals in the band is that uh, technology uh, has, has allowed us to be creative um, and uh, everything from the synthesizers that we use and the way that we record digitally, all those things that uh, did not exist when the band started. But we've kept up with everything and as you say, the, the, tr the traveling studio that we were able to uh, assemble and the way that we can exchange ideas and uh, ex really kind of write songs and record songs, you know, using uh, using the internet. Uh, all of that is, is uh, you know made our lives uh, easier, a little more complicated, but but at the same time it's easier. Oh, I agree 100 percent there. Also, I'd like to also acknowledge uh, Robert that uh, Chica um, Chicago. And the Dewey Brothers recently announced their um, Go Headline North America Summer Tour kickoff uh, June 7th of 2017 this year in Concor CA. Uh, the 30 plus tour dates um, promoted by Live Nations will take the Grammy Award winning and multi multiple um, platinum selling groups through the, um, um, was it Empire Theaters in uh, major cities, including Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, uh, Toronto, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Washington, D.C. for the night for an unforgettable live music. Awesome, Robert. Well, we're really looking forward to playing with our friends, uh, the Doobie Brothers. We've been uh, touring together over the years, uh, but the way that we've been performing lately with the Doobies is uh, the Doobies play and the Chicago plays, and then the Doobies and Chicago uh, do a finale where both bands play together, play various songs from uh, each of our greatest hits together. And it's uh, always an amazing experience for the audience, and it's really great fun. And and uh, personally, I just I just uh, love when I can hang out a little bit with uh, the guys in the Doobie Brothers. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome! And you guys been doing this for a long time. What can I say? Since 1969. Now, I have to read this to you. Um, of course, Chicago hailed as one of the most important bands in music since the dawn of rock and roll era by former president Bill Clinton, the legendary rock and roll band with horns. Chicago came in at number nine in the highest charting American band in Billboard magazine. Recent Hot 200 all-time top artists, and Chicago is the first American rock rock band to chart top 40 albums in six consecutive decades. My goodness, Robert, how does that make you feel? Well, um, it's it's uh, really gratifying to uh, to be uh, acknowledged. Uh, for something that that we love to do, something that I, I love to do personally, and 
the fact that the, uh, the band has been able to uh, stay very productive and uh, very energetic in our performances on stage. And uh, we've, we've remained uh, creative. And um, it's, it's just one of those things where if you love to make music, uh, which Chicago does, and the individual guys love to play music, um, this is just a, a blessing. Oh, it certainly is. It certainly is. And let's talk about the debut album that came for Chicago, which was called Transit Authority, later known as Chicago. It was recorded and released in 1969, and some of the songs from the debut album are Questions 67 and 68, which made it to number 71 U.S., uh, 100 that is, U.S. 100, and 54 in Canada. And the singers on that, of course, is uh, Peter Terra and yourself, Robert Lamb. Um, other songs from the debut album, Beginnings, and that made it to number seven, U.S. 100, and number eight in Canada. And those are, you know, two great songs there. Well, you know, uh, we were at that, at, at that, the point where we recorded that album, we were very young. Most of us were just out of uh, college, and uh, you know we were just you know didn't really know what we were doing, but we knew that we were making music and we were having fun doing it. Oh, excellent, excellent. Um, and of course, here's another song I like from that album. Does anybody really know what time it is? What a great song. And, of course, I mean, when you sing that song, Robert, as singing lead vocals onto that, I mean, you put a lot of uh, feeling into it. Well, that's, uh, that's something that the music inspires. The music inspires. Uh, and usually those, these songs are, are autobiographical. They are not fictional songs in any way. So yeah, uh, songs that uh, that I sing, I'm definitely singing from uh, an emotional place. Oh, definitely. And also, uh, it's important that I acknowledge here that um, Chicago's Transit Authority was inducted into the uh, Grammy Hall of Fame in 2014, and the band performed on the Grammy stage for the first time for the first time that year. Chicago was inducted into the 2006 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This was their first nomination. They've been eligible since 1994. A long time coming. Yeah, it's, uh, these kind of honors are, are not anything that, that a young band really thinks about or aims for, I don't think, but uh, when uh, your peers and your fans, uh, you know, we, we were voted, basically voted into the Hall of Fame by other musicians and other members of the, of the Grammy organization. But also, we got votes, we got like 35 million votes online from our fans all over the world who voted us into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And that was uh, 2014. Whoa, amazing. And you, and I want to see if I get this last name right here. If I don't get it right, I, am always, I always have room for learning. And here we go. You and James Panko? Panko, yeah. Panko, that, Jimmy Panko, um, will become the, lar the, la excuse me, the latest introduction um, of the uh, Songwriters Hall of Fame at the organization's 48th annual in induction on Thursday, June 15th in New York City. Their legendary songwriters wrote mega hits such as 25 or 6 to 4, Saturday in the Park, which is my all-time favorite song. I have to, I'll have to add here. Uh, Feeling Stronger Every Day and Make Me Smile and many more. Yes, it's going to be um, quite an evening and quite intimidating because, you know, the, the induction ceremony of the Songwriters Hall of Fame is basically a room full of other songwriters. And, you know, basically I'm really gratified uh, to, be, uh, to be honored in such a way. 
but it's also intimidating because these are really, really great songwriters. And uh, so I'm, uh, I feel a, a little bit like we're not worthy. I hear you. I hear you. Now, Robert, how did you meet your band members, uh, Peter Cetera, the late Terry Kath, um, and, you know, many more great members of that band? Well, actually, the band started, was started by Walt Parazayer, saxophonist. Walt and Jimmy Panko went to uh, school together, uh, studied music together. We love name uh, also uh, studied music in Chicago. But um, Walt and the original drummer Danny Serafin and Terry Kath were in a band before Chicago, and so they were the, kind of the nucleus. So the, when the when the band got first got together, it was Jimmy Panko, E. Lochnane, Walt Parazier, Horns, and then Terry Kath, Robert Lamb, and Danny Serafin. So it they it was like it was just six for about two years and then we added a bass player and the rest is history oh i hear you i at this time i'd like to acknowledge terry Kaff for a second there and and give my i know this has been a while but i mean uh what can i say announcer to um singer i cannot imagine you know the pain of burying a band member i mean it's it's an order sort of thing and i cannot just i cannot imagine i mean we know we know what actually we we know what happened uh we're not going to get into that but i will say that it, it was a tragedy it was a tragedy and you know uh he was one of my best friends and uh you know, we had a lot of history together and we enjoyed creating music together uh so yeah he he is uh, still uh, greatly missed, and uh, he was really a, a wonderful guy and an absolute genius on guitar. Oh, excellent, excellent. Now, when you guys uh, play and, uh, you know, do some Chicago tours, is there times that when you play a song, do you ever say to yourself that, uh, man, Terry might have loved this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I do think, and I think that he would have uh, loved the technology as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. But uh, with that being said, um, also on to the next subject here. I also like to acknowledge that um, Chicago has raised over a quarter million dollars to fight breast cancer for the American Cancers Association, um, which I think is absolutely spectacular. And also, um, Chicago has actually helped people uh, to my understanding with special needs. Well, we. We've done, uh, we've tried to do our share, uh, giving back whenever, uh, whenever we're called upon, and, uh, you know, we, we don't really talk about it publicly very much. We just feel like it's more important to actually, uh, uh, support, uh, support various causes, and, uh, just be, just be helpful, just be good citizens. Oh, that's, that's excellent, Robert. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, that's, that's fantastic. Um, also, I'd like to acknowledge that um, there's a documentary film now more than ever, The History of Chicago, premiered on, actually this already premiered already, on CNN on New Year's Day and ranked number one along adult um, 2554. And and uh, this is the Peer Peer uh, Nelson first national uh, time period base data for um, the date when it was on, which I think was the first of uh, first month, uh, first day, which was January first, uh, 2017. That was on from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. Um, if I had known that was on, I would have watched it. I think that uh, it'll, they'll probably replay it again later in the year, but uh, it is still viewable on uh, iTunes or Amazon. Oh, okay, cool, cool, excellent, excellent. The um, the documentary film was originally shown in Sedona. Let me pronounce that right, Sedona. Uh, Sedona. Sedona, okay. Uh, International Film Festival in February of uh, last year, 2016, and won the Film Festival's Best of Fest 
Audience Choice Awards. The band opened the festival with back-to-back solo performances. Chicago's lifetime achievements include two Grammy Awards, multiple uh, American Music Awards, founding artist of the John F. Kennedy Center for, for Performing Artists, artist, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a Chicago Street. Now that now this is amazing. I gotta read this part. Chicago Street dedicated in their honor, and um, that's amazing. That's amazing. It is. Well, you know, all these things are are really uh, wonderful and really gratifying, and we're very very uh, grateful and honored um, to be singled out like that, but, you know, for us, really, the important thing is to continue to play music. Oh. Jack, it's been a great conversation, but I, I must move on. I have, uh, as you know, I've been running late today. Oh, not a problem there, uh, Robert. Uh, uh, the information that I actually got and we discussed today is absolutely spectacular. I understand, and thank you so much, uh, Robert Lamb, once again, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to me for a few minutes. Uh, keep up the good work, and uh, be cool. You know, I just want to say that we love our Canadian fans. Uh, we've been uh, touring uh, through Canada, coast to coast, the last several years, and um, we look forward to returning to Canada very soon. Excellent, Robert Lamb. Have yourself a great day. Thank you, sir.